much like New York, you were wondering what the slab looks like in the new shed and what we're using it for. Well, at the minute, as you can see, it's a uh, combine storage, ready for it getting serviced. But um, yeah, slab went down well, as you can see. That was ooh, three weeks ago now, I should think. Possibly even more. Um, what's the median? Class median 310 the other day. Ready for a service. Um, yeah, so got a little C450 header in. Um, got a bloody, uh, basically the front, um, front tyre there keeps going down, so we're getting a new tyre fitted to that. Just because you don't want that acid uh, enhanced, do you? So, yeah, there you go. Hope you. Hope that's good enough for you, Bill, from upstate New York. Like I say, it's a very useful handy shed now. And it fits, <laughs> the combine fits in it. So she's tidy for 20 years old, 19 years old, I forget exactly how old she is. We'll soon find out. She's 2002, so yeah, 19. Scrubs up well, doesn't she? Right, how are we doing? Yeah, we're finally gonna get out and make some green bales and then stick some black plastic around them. But uh, yeah, um, been there looking at the grass this morning and it is. Uh, it's not pretty because it should have been cut, I want to say, at least three weeks ago. But um, uh, this cloud's supposed to burn off and then, uh, well, actually, you can see it. It's supposed to clear from the east, and you can see it's, uh, it's making its way over here, so we should have a bit of sun soon, and we can get on and um, make some bales. Right, just gonna stick a spare roll in. I always like to be repaired. I'd be surprised if um, um, I'd be surprised if I use that roll. It's quite a bit on that roll, but um, you never know. You never know, and I'd rather. Well, which way does it go? It's been a year since I looked at it nearly. Uh, it comes up around the back. Obviously, you want to put it on the right way around, otherwise, you've got to flip it around when it's up there. Uh, which way does that go? Let's get it down and look, shall we? These are big, heavy rolls, these are. Uh, Looking at that, that end's got to go in first. So, yeah, easy just wait on your shoulder. Get it balanced, hopefully. Then slide her in. Whew. Like so. And then basically, when you get all that out what you do is that oh, it's easier when you're down there but that flips over pivots there tips the new roll in because that's got to be 30 kilogram i think got to be a good 30 kilogram there that's all right anyway shut this we're good to go sports fans let's have a look at this grass I've not seen it either myself yet we well, like the baler performs off the bottom I think down. I can't remember exactly where my wheels, uh, what position the wheels should be in. I think I might have guessed right. Just inch back a bit. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Basically what I'm looking for is 
obviously you want to just sweep the um, the grass that's left, the uncut grass. You don't want to be catching the ground, so. Yeah, it looks about right. Oh, so the only thing to do now is, let's rev her up. See if we can make a bail. Just that one blooming time, isn't it? Seconds, have a look. Good days, that's a nice looking bale, isn't it? You can't say, um, can't say that wrong with that. I dare say <laughs> that is hard. That weighs, that weighs quite a few kilograms. Just lock that a minute. That locks the that ram, stops the door from shutting. Just to have a look here at the noise. Noise are all present and correct and all up as they should. Lovely job. Right, we can make a few more bales now. Happy with that though. Might just have to turn the pressure down a bit because that is, that is, Jesus Christ, that is, that is solid. I mean, that is what we're after, but there's, they're solid and then they're sensible. Up a bit. I think, yeah, that will, uh, 
I won't get back to the game, probably will. Yeah, we're jingling along quite nicely. Carting crew's busy. Got the little uh, 6020 on carting. Got the TW on carting. The little T495 is in the field loading the bales. The um, JCB 54270 Angry Pro is at the yard wrapping them, you know, load them on the wrapper uh, and then stacking them. The other T7 is on the mower because that will be going um, mowing again just over an hour or so two hours, something like that. Go and get another field down ready. Don't she look good? There she is, sports fans. She does look good, doesn't she? She's pretty. Right, let's get the old girl fired up and uh, make some smoke. Right, fire in the hole.
want me without um, you know a second you know a second machine that's capable of loading whether that is a second telescopic loader or tractor load like this.
kind of exploded, so uh, we're just going to rebound it. It's easiest. The loader is still, um, the loader's still wrapping bow, so I've got the old little muck grab on the little T4. You've got a little button there that you press and that means that the uh, the crowd for the carriage or the bucket um, to, you know, get, the all gets diverted to the grab so it's, uh, it's not too bad. Well I don't think we're too far off there. If I take that steady I reckon should be alright, I think. Right, so we've got a lumpy row. I've just got to now persuade the guy at the front of the baler. Should be fun, shouldn't it? Probably got enough to make a bail. 
Oh, we definitely have it because of bow to bow. Good as it's going to get. So now all we've got to do is hold that start stop button. That's got it wrapping. getting put to bed that's all done I've just put the feeder wagon back on the little tractor took the block off the back and the spike off the front so there they are that gives you a small glimpse into uh, a day silage making on our farm um, what goes into it I'll say it's a small glimpse I wanted to get a bit of mowing but um, that was finished before I could get a chance to film it but never mind. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little vid. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!